By now, I'm sure you all have heard about the tragic death of actor Anton Yelchin. Known for his role as Chekhov in the new Star Trek films, the rising star was taken far too soon. Anton was pinned against a brick pillar and metal gate by his 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That model recently began the recall process and has allegedly caused at least 40 other injuries. With the information we have right now, we'll try to piece together what actually happened, what went wrong, and what Fiat Chrysler is going to do. Hi guys, Ken here with 4 Wheel Online. Here's what we know. In April of this year, FCA issued a recall for 1.1 million vehicles worldwide. Notifications were mailed out in May, which said they would have a fix in July or August. Anton's 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee was included in that recall. The NHTSA's recall document stated that the SUV's monostable shifter is not intuitive and provides poor tactile and visual feedback to the driver, increasing the potential for unintended gear selection. So how does the shifter actually work? Let's watch the official video from Jeep. Now the electronic shift lever with this transmission is a little different. It does not slide forward or rearward like a conventional shifter. Instead, the shift lever is spring-loaded and moves forward or rearward, always returning to the center position after the desired gear is selected. To shift back into park from drive, bring the vehicle to a complete stop, and while holding the brake pedal fully down, press the lock button on the shift lever, then push and hold the shifter fully forward until P is displayed in the EVIC. It seems like the biggest issue is that, just like the NHTSA said, there's poor tactile and visual feedback. To put the vehicle in park, you simply push it forward and watch it slide back into the middle. The only indication that you're not in park is just the light on the lever itself and on the dashboard, although there are warning beeps if the door is open. So what exactly happened to Anton Yelchin? The LAPD said that it was a result of the victim's own car rolling backwards down his steep driveway, pinning him against a brick mailbox and security fence. They also noted that the Jeep was running and in neutral. From that statement and from the photos of his driveway on Google Maps, we think we know exactly what happened. It seems that Anton pulled out of his driveway going uphill. He then stopped his SUV, pushed the shifter forward to leave drive and put it into park, but instead selected neutral. He then exited the Jeep with his key still in the ignition and the vehicle running. That's when the Jeep rolled back and pinned him. Why didn't the warnings cause him to double check which gear he was in? There would have been a beeping sound when the door was open since it wasn't in park, but it's possible that he thought the sound was just because the keys were in the ignition with the driver door open. I probably would do the same. This is a terrible and tragic accident. There have been many other incidents and injuries that place blame on the poorly designed shifter, but this was a high profile on the rise actor and the fallout from this could be huge. FCA hasn't explained exactly what the recent recall would do, though they did state they would add warnings and update their transmission shift strategy to prevent the vehicle from moving in certain circumstances. A previously unreleased service document from FCA appears to detail a new auto park feature in the vehicle software. Audi used a similar shifter in one of their vehicles, but they designed it to go into park when the door was open. Hopefully we won't have to hear about any more easily preventable injuries or deaths due to poor design choices. And FCA knew it was a poor design choice because they stopped using that shifter in their 2016 Grand Cherokee. We place so much trust in our vehicles, our cars and trucks become an extension of ourselves. Driving has been continuously refined over the past century, but sometimes change is just not good. There is an incredibly large number of odd shifters out there, and no matter which type you have, using it should be second nature. How many times have you been on the phone, dealing with screaming children, or have just been so late for work that you throw your car into park? By pure muscle memory alone. We all do it. I mean, seriously, think about it. When was the last time you actually looked at your shifter or dashboard to double check you were in park? It should just come naturally. What do you think? Are manufacturers trying too hard to be innovative and different? Or do you think this recall is bogus and drivers just need to pay more attention? Let us know in our poll right here and then comment right down below. After that, make sure you like or use the sad emoji and share this video with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Then tune in for the most recent news refresh every Friday. I'm Ken with 4 Wheel Online and you've just been refreshed.